Hi, it's Jay Stephanie from Levinson and Stephanie here in Chicago. Today, I wanted to walk through how we keep track of defendants in FileBind. So I'm going to walk through real quick here. So obviously, we're in the defendants tab on our test case. In this one, it's a trucking case. So we already have the defendant motor carrier in here. So let's walk through just to add a new defendant. So in this case, we're going to add the defendant driver. So surprise, surprise, we already have them in there. So what we have in here, we have, this is where we keep all of our notices of attorney's liens. This is an easy place to put it. You know, it can go out for us. We do a lot of auto and trucking. So to go to the actual defendant driver or trucking company, if it were, whoever's listed up here, to that person, company, to their insurance company. If it's a premises case, we have it a little different. And then obviously our trucking cases are different. Uh, we do a combination notice of attorney lien and preservation letter. That's especially big in the trucking cases uh, for those of you that handle those um, for inspection purposes and all that. So that's all built in right here. We can generate those. If you use these uh, form fields, uh, this is really nice because then it actually takes care of adding um, you can put your client's name right in there in the file name. So that's always a nice little one. We keep track of when these are sent, both to the individual or company, as well as to the insurance company. Just have a general multiple document attachment field here where we save everything related to this defendant in terms of notices of attorney's lien, uh, any investigation. Um, you know, if it's a trucking case, we'll often put, and I'll take some screenshots off of the safer uh, site, put stuff there in terms of their safety. If it's, you know, we're doing some investigation in terms of skip traces, stuff like that, it can all go right here. Next down, keep track of the defendant's insurance. So in this case, we just say the uh, insurance company we have in there. You can put in separately the named insured if it's somebody other than the defendant. Um, keep track of the adjuster. In this case, you know, trucking, just keep track of that. You can enter in the policy number, claim number. We always keep track of what the policy limits are. This data all is going to get pulled into here. The various different templates we can then generate off of all of the data you know, at the end of the case. Optimistic. I love that it puts this right up at the top. Again, smart fields so that it names the file with key names in there, you know, requesting the check um, and just some other basic templates we put in there just to make life easier. Any documentation that we do, any letters back and forth correspondence with the defendant's insurance company can get saved right in here. Next down on each defendant's card. We have their opposing counsel information. We can add the attorney. And then we do that. We have our various sort of standard letters that would go out to opposing counsel. And these are all one of the nice things because we're keeping this data in here. For example, just a template letter pops open in Word, a letter to the other attorney. It's on our letterhead. It has the other attorney's name, firm, address, and pulling from one of the other sections, it lets the RE line contain the case name as well as the case number. And then just some, you know, seasonably supplementing letters, requesting a check, you know, for here in Illinois, 201K letters when they're not sending us the discovery they're supposed to. It's just a good place to put all of your templates for your letters for that specific defendant's attorney. This really helps having multiple cards, one for each different defendant. Because if they each have a different counsel, it generates letters based off of that specific attorney. Last down here, service information. So this is something we went back and forth on in terms of where to best keep this. Because you're going to have different service information for different defendants, obviously based on when they're getting served, this sort of made the most sense to put it here because it separates it out by each individual defendant. Using the due date fields, 
lets us run reports. And I found that makes it a lot easier on support staff instead of them having to juggle every single case and figure out. We can run a report based off of service date, for example. If I know I get it out, you know, to a sheriff or to our service, uh, our server today, you know, they've got, let's say a month. I put in the due date. I have a report that runs and it looks through all projects where it's past the due date and the done date is still blank. And then I know if my support team runs this report and has it show up in their inbox once a week, then we're never more than seven days behind on when it was due so that the attorney then makes the decision, skip trace, point a special process server, get it out to the sheriff again, whatever. Same thing. Once they're, you know, once they're served, then we know they've got 30 days to file an appearance. Same thing. I run another report. It's the appearance overdue report. Again, same thing. Keeps it track. It runs a nice single report so that your support team can get a list. Here's every single case that we need to follow up on all in one spot instead of trying to track down just individually looking at cases. And then again, we've got our docs, multiple attachment field here, everything related to the summons and service documents, skip trace results, um, anything like that, the actual summons, alias summons, anything else that helps and makes sense all goes right in here. And then obviously I'm a big believer, put a note section everywhere because there's always something that you're gonna wanna have notes depending on what section it is. That is really about it for our defendants tab. I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm always happy to chat and talk about FileVine and how we use FileVine here at Levinson and Stephanie.